Hey, what's up and welcome. I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome. Well, I was going to say welcome back because that's my normal intro, but this isn't really a welcome back situation. Um, I said last episode in the League of the Americas with Chapecoense, I was taking a week off from FIFA. I was frustrated and fed up with FIFA 17 and I've played a little bit since then. Uh, mostly, well actually not mostly, exclusively in a player career, not a manager career mode, actual player career, um, and I've enjoyed playing that actually a little bit, um, that's been not so bad, but today I sat down, it has been a week since I said that in that last video, and I was going to record the Chapecoense career, and I got into the career, and I was sitting there looking at the team, and it has nothing to do with the players that we have, I actually like the team that we've built, but I was sitting there like looking at the schedule of who we're going to play and I was looking at the objectives, kind of refreshing my memory with what's going on in that series. And I just didn't want to play. Like I, I just didn't want to get back into that series. And there's a lot of things. If I get into a rant about what I don't like about FIFA 17, I think you guys have seen my frustration with this game this year. I will say that FIFA 17 is my least favorite FIFA I think I have ever played. There's so many things wrong with this game, and I'm not going to get into everything, but I really, really dislike the way FIFA 17 plays, the bugs in it, and it's just a lot of things about the game really, really upset me. But the reason why I didn't want to get back in and play that series, and it took me a while to think about why I was so uninterested in this series and it, I had to think back to when I started FIFA 17. The first series we did was, was with Milan. That series was fantastic. It went off without a hitch. Everything worked very, very well. The series was a very, very big success. And to this day, it is the only series that we've actually completed in FIFA 17. Since the conclusion of that Milan series, every other series has ended in the middle of a season and was cut short and just killed off in the middle of a season. Obviously, we had the Plymouth Argyle situation where we didn't have a choice. That series was forced to, to, to end because of the game itself being bugged, and we didn't have a choice now. That was very upsetting. We also had the Seattle series, which the MLS, again, if I get into this, it could be over an hour-long video talking about all the things that are wrong with this game regarding the MLS. But I will say that the MLS is not a viable career mode option in player career, or as I found out playing my single player career, or my player career, not a viable option in player career either. It's just not an option. It doesn't work. Nothing with the MLS makes sense in FIFA at all. The way the teams are run, the AI, nothing. Nothing makes sense in the MLS. Don't do MLS. And I hate to say that because obviously I love the MLS, but just stay the hell away from the MLS in FIFA 17. But we ended the Seattle career as well in the middle of the season because it was just too easy. And it has a lot to do again with the way that it works, the MLS works in FIFA 17. And then we started this League of the Americas career. We did the League of the Americas in FIFA 16. It was one of my favorite series I've ever done with FC Dallas. That was a fantastic series. But FIFA 16 is a lot different to than FIFA 17. There have been some things added to this FIFA, such as the board expectations, that change the way that you have to go about running your team. Sometimes that's a good thing, other times it's not. And what I've come to realize is that these expectations and this new feature into career mode really caters towards the bigger leagues in Europe and the bigger teams as well, even more so the bigger teams. And I think that's why the Milan series was so successful. The board expectations really, really made sense for what we were doing with Milan, and that was build it into a big team. And those objectives reflected what they wanted and what we wanted. The problem is when you get the further away from those big teams and those big leagues you get, such as the MLS or any of the teams we're using in the League of the Americas, those expectations and those objectives really don't mirror what you're trying to do and they don't make a lot of sense for your team. Such as with Chapecoense, we have the smallest budget out of any team in the top league or the second flight of the League of the Americas and they want us to start a youth academy. We flat out don't have the money to do that and to spend money on a youth academy is a complete waste of what little funds that we have but because of those objectives if I don't do it I could get fired and that would end the series anyway. 
So that's a little bit frustrating to deal with. And in the end, it's it just the smaller teams in the smaller leagues, they, they really, I feel like they've become obsolete in FIFA because of these new objectives. And that's, that's a little frustrating to deal with when EA changes the game so much that it takes out a large portion of the leagues and the teams in the game for you to be able to do a career mode series with. Now, obviously, you can still do a career mode series. We can still do Chapecoense and the League of the Americas, but it would be very, very difficult, and it wouldn't go the way that I want to want it to go. It, I, I couldn't run the team the way I want to run it. I would have to run it the way the board wants me to run it and the way that FIFA wants me to run it, and that's not exactly what I want to do and that kind of takes the fun out of it for me so that's I think that's the big reason why I just I feel like this team that we've built and while again I do like the players that are in the team I feel like we've been kind of forced into some of these choices and these players and it's really frustrating and I and honestly if you look at it from like a real life perspective if you're a coach in that situation where the board is so controlling in what you do and how you do it you're going to kind of start to think, maybe this isn't the best situation for me. Maybe maybe I should go somewhere else and, and manage a team. You know, maybe this this just isn't for me. Maybe this, this situation with us and this team isn't working out. So with that being said, and I really, really don't want to have to, you know, go along with the way this game has been made and, you know, do things a certain way. But because of the way that things are in FIFA 17... I think we should go back to a big league. And I saw a couple of comments in that last video where I said I was taking a week off. Some people said, just go back and do another big team. The Milan series was great. Just do something like that again. And I think that's kind of where we're at. And I'm not object to, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't object to doing that at all. Don't get me wrong. I, I love that Milan series. And I've always wanted to do a series in the Bundesliga as well. And I've never done one in Germany. And there's a couple of teams that kind of piqued my interest a little bit. I will say, though, that there are two teams that are completely off the table for me. I won't do Bayern because, I mean, that's pointless. And I won't do Leipzig because I just, I, I, there's been a lot of people who have done Leipzig and I'm just not interested. So, other than those two teams, pretty much everyone else is on the board. Bo Dortmund's close to being off the board because they are pretty good. It would be pretty easy, but again, there's that rivalry with with uh, with Bayern that, that's there. You have to overcome that. There's there's something to that, and I like that that side of things for Dortmund. So I'm, I'm leaving them on the board. But yeah, just Bayern and Leipzig are off for me as far as the Bundesliga goes. And also, I was strongly considering going back to England, not starting up the Young Gun series once again, though I do want to revisit that at some point down the road. But I think it's been... I think it hasn't been enough time since the, the Plymouth series ended to restart that series. So I, I don't want to do that just yet. But maybe taking a team from the championship um, and going from there. I thought maybe Fulham because they do have a history of bringing in American players. And you know I respect that. Um, I thought Fulham might be a good idea. A couple people have mentioned Norwich. I wouldn't be opposed to doing that one either. But yeah, maybe a team in the championship or a team in Germany. Those are my two top choices. So that brings us to this point right here. I've told you what I'm looking for maybe for the next series, my, my preference, but looking back at it, the last three series that we've done that I have chosen, they all have been from me, my ideas, and the Plymouth one aside, because again, that was out of our control, the Seattle series and this League of the America series both haven't worked out, and again, I think that's because of the way FIFA 17 is, but regardless, both have been my ideas, both have bombed horribly, so the last time I let you guys choose a series... You chose Milan, and that went very, very well. So once again, I'm leaving it up to you. Any team in the top five team in the top five leagues in the in in Europe again it has to be from England. Could be the Prem or the Championship. Germany, Italy, Spain, or France. Kind of want to avoid Italy as we've already done that. But other than that, just any of any team from those top five countries, and I'll, I'll pick the top one. Whatever one gets the most votes, that is the team that I will go with. Again kind of want to avoid Italy and I also want to avoid those huge teams like Barcelona, Real Madrid, yeah, Juve, PSG, any of the big teams in, in England don't really want to do those either and Germany. I mean, just, you know, you know what I'm looking for. Milan was a great pick. I trust that you guys will come up with another really, really good team. So I am leaving this in your hands. So thank you for the support. I, I hope you guys understand kind of where I'm coming from with this with, with the decision to stop the, the League of the Americas, it wasn't my intention to do that again when I, when I said I was taking a week off. 
It just gave me a week to reevaluate things and take a step back and, and look at what was going on and, and why things weren't working. And I think I've identified the reason why things have been going so poorly for the last, I mean, it's been months that things haven't been working for me in FIFA 17. So hopefully when we get back to a big team in Europe, things will once again be back to normal and we'll have a good series to really get invested in once more. So that is going to do it for this one. Let me know your top team you want to see me use in the comments below, or maybe a couple of suggestions. Uh, you know, you can leave more than one team, and I will pick the most popular choice, and that is the team we will start our next career mode series with. Thank you once again for the support, and I look forward to seeing your comments. See ya.